2021 was a really rewarding but also a really challenging year for A400. We started off with an aircraft that deployed on operations around the world and we had to carve out a development line for training. We took the new capabilities common to A400 via 206 Squadron, a test and evaluation, and they generate a new capability. The role of 24 Squadron is to take that capability and train it out. So through 2021, the first element was natural surface operations. Sounds quite straightforward, you know, you take a, an A400 that we know can, can land on a regular runway, but now we need to land it on a beach. We then focused on airdrop, which really dominated the year, with the aim being, you know, to, to supply troops on the ground for resupply or for um, any kind of sustainment activity, including humanitarian aid disaster relief. Principally though, you need to put the aeroplane over the top of, of a drop zone. The year was spent really sort of developing the procedures to do that. And then it's all about refinement and using the different loads. So you've got light stores, which are maybe a harness pack, something quite small that you would chuck out, or container delivery system, which is big buckets, big pallets of, of stuff, which could be ammunition, it could be water, it could be rations, it could be shelter kits for humanitarian aid, uh, disaster relief operations. And then it just became about what level of competency the crews would require to deliver that. And then we were ready to receive those new capabilities from 206 Squadron to develop. So the basic airdrop course takes an ab initio student and gives them their first introduction to delivering airdrop from the A400M. Through a six week course, they will be able to safely low fly the aircraft, position it over a drop zone, dispatch light stores and CDS will also be the same for the load masters. The introduction of airdrop to the A400M has taken the whole enterprise into a new space. We've been entirely reliant on the support of the wider station who have to support our departures. We've relied heavily on 47 Air Dispatch and also on JAD2 in the early stages. It's been quite an exciting venture in that point and I think it's really helped to move everyone involved in getting the aircraft out of Bryce Norton and putting a foundation for us to build upon. 2022 is all about training the front line with these capabilities. So we've got now at Bryce people that can do it. They're all instructors. So now it's about getting the, the co captains, co-pilots and, and loadmasters on 70 Squadron and 30 Squadron trained and up to speed to be able to deliver it. So our main effort is core business of, of training these activities. However, the aircraft's still evolving. If we're able to take more military aspects, including natural surface operations, and reduce those safety margins so we can reduce the size of the strip we are able to land on. The same with, with airdrop in terms of more sophisticated methods of doing it are coming along line, both for the loadmaster and for the pilot. So we'll be training that and building up capability on the front line, but alongside, we're also gonna be looking at high altitude parachuting and potentially other types of load towards the back end of the year. So there's a comprehensive approach to building this capability on the front line. So it's really a kind of a ethos and cultural change from operations in the strategic sphere into the tactical aspect of A400M.